The effect of concentration of potassium iodide on the rate of the reaction with hydrogen peroxide. We have added in all the required chemicals into the beaker. We are using starch as an indicator, as when iodine is present it will change from colourless to blue-black. We are adding hydrogen peroxide to the beaker. We are using a timer to time the colour change. The short colour change makes determining the reaction time more accurate. This is because it is easy to recognise a distinct colour. It was very important to keep the total volume of the slow each experiment. This was so the concentration of reactants was not altered other than potassium iodide. We vary the concentration of potassium iodide. We do this by varying the volume of potassium iodide with water to make it up to 25 cm3. We run through the experiment as shown previously and write up the results. The rate equals 1 over t, the unit is s to the minus 1. We take values straight from our table and plot them in the graph. Along the x-axis is volume of potassium iodide in centimetres cubed, and along the y-axis is rate 1 over t, the unit of this is s to the minus 1. As the concentration of potassium iodide increases, the rate of reaction also increases.